to my new let's play called the whispering dark it is for the sims 4 vampires game pack and i'm happy to finally introduce you to uh the characters that i've been uh setting up in and, and getting ready as a part of this story so i thought we would start off with introductions it always seems like a great place to start with uh let's play this is our saint james family um, which from our two or from which our two main characters come, uh, this is Lisette, and she is uh, uh, one of a pair of sisters that um, are very different. So there's Gisela is in her pajamas right now because uh, she's sleeping, but. <laughs> Hmm. We we have some twin sisters here, Lisette and Giselle, and um, they're very different girls. Uh, they grew up, or Lisette grew up very jealous of her sister, um, because her sister is um, a, the good girl, the perfectionist. She is a straight A student. She does everything right. Uh, she's the apple of her parents' eye, and. Um, as they were growing up, it seemed that Giselle was over, always overshadowing Lisette, so that turned her into a little bit of a jealous person. But she's also, she is very self-assured because you know her parents have always been really hard on her, and it's it's been up to her, um, you know, sort of to support herself. So while she does have a jealous streak, um, and she's a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a scamp. <laughs> Uh, but she is very strong. She has a, a strength from within, and um, Lisette is our our, our vampire obsessed teenager. She's uh, very edgy, very dark. She has a you know very goth look about her. Um, huh. You know she she just likes to to dress a little scandalous. Sometimes she's got a little bit of a more casual outfit as well. Um, but that is. This is Lisette, and that's what she's sort of about. So she um, hmm. is going to be looking into how to become a vampire. That's that's what she dreams about. That's what's what she she wants. Uh, Giselle, on the other hand, she's just more focused oh. on school, and she does hmm. have a boyfriend. And um, you know, she's she is actually a little bit maybe on the too conservative side. Um, she's kind of uptight and, uh, you know, she could stand to let loose a little bit. She doesn't have as much fun maybe as other teenagers mm. do because she is so hard on herself and she holds herself to really high expectations and um, as do her parents. So her mother is Constance and, um, you know, Connie is Connie and Michael. Their parents are very, uh, very upper crusty, wealthy folks. Uh, really conservative, and they do expect a lot of uh, the girls. Um, so there is quite a bit of frustration between Constance and Lisette uh, because Lisette yeah. does not. Uh, behave in the way Constance would like her to and um, Constance does have uh, a bit of a history 
uh, w- within her family that has made her so focused on appearances and everything. She's married to Michael, and he's he's a good dad. He's a like a businessman. He's uh, you know they have a lot in common. They're very much in love. Um, but yeah, Michael's just sort of your typical dad guy. Uh, you know, he's like mm-hmm. Constance and he cares about wealth and, uh, but he's a little bit softer, uh, a little oh. bit more relaxed and, um, not as, he's a little bit closer with Giselle or I'm sorry, with Lisette, uh, than Constance is. And then of course we have little brother Colton. Uh, he is a charmer and he is <laughs> the one thing that, uh, both Lisette and Giselle, uh, can agree on. Uh, they love him to death, and he's, you know, a huge part of both of their lives. They love spending time with him, and uh, he is definitely a charmer. <laughs> and we love, we love Colton. We do. So that is a little bit about our main family, and then uh, a couple other people that I want to introduce you to before we get started. Just a quick introduction of some of our forgotten hollow residents. Of course, we have uh, the Count, who lives in the big house on top of the hill. Uh, quite removed, quite antisocial, um, and he does have a uh, sort of a, a live-in partner of sorts uh, that we'll, we'll meet sometime in the future. Um, we have the Valentine House, which is run by Louis Valentine, and it is sort of like a a catch-all house for vampires that of all ages that maybe are orphaned or um, have lived past, have outlived their families, don't really have anywhere else to go, and so um, we have quite a few characters in this house that we'll be meeting. Uh, we have the Bloom family, uh, Jesse and his uh, mother Samara and his father and they, um, Jesse and his dad are very protective of uh, their mother because she is actually not a vampire. So they, um, they, they keep, they keep to themselves. That's why they have a bit of a private dwelling. They want to keep vampires away. Uh, cause they, they worry very much about something happening to the, um, to Samara. And then we have, of course, uh, Lilith and Caleb Vitor, uh, Lilith and Cecilia, um, who we're going to meet next are very close friends and Cecilia and Caleb are, uh, long time lovers, uh, who are very, very into each other. And so, yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and hop in and meet Miss Cecilia here. This lovely <laughs> lady you see before you, uh, <laughs> growling and hissing, is Aunt Cecilia. And she she is the sister of Constance. Um, the two are estranged from each other. Um, they had a falling out when Cecilia fell in love with... Caleb Vitor, uh, a vampire, and um, basically more or less chose uh, Caleb's love over her sister, and um, so you know that they have a bit of a, a negative history between the two of them. And the girls, they don't really know Cecilia much because she, um, you know, hasn't been in their lives. Um, that is about to change, however. And, um, so Cecilia is going to be a big part of (laughs) the girls, uh, or what's going on with the girls. And she is a very, very powerful vampire. So our vampires have all different sort of like crazy looks whenever they change. And, um, so you'll see there are several other characters that we haven't touched on yet and we'll meet them as we play along. Um, but you know, you'll see that every vampire has their own sort of hidden personality, their own hidden interesting look. Um, But yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and jump in. It's a Saturday morning, and we'll uh, see what everybody's doing. 
And here we are in the house of the St. James family on day one of our story. Um, everybody's getting up and getting ready for the day right now. Um, our girls are still sleeping in because it's a Saturday morning. Uh, this is, this Let's Play, it's going to be a mix of gameplay and storytelling. Um, you know, part of, of course, playing the game is getting to see, you know, our, our characters rank up as vampires. And so we'll be playing and we'll be, you know, uh, building up skills and everything. Um, but we'll, along the way, we'll, we'll tell some stories and, and have some other things to say. I'm going to go ahead and put this little guy back to sleep for just a little while longer. What's he? Oh, he was going to go play in the toilet. No. No, you're not that cute. Nobody's that cute. Okay. Uh, Michael is uh, the early bird, and he is cooking uh, breakfast for everyone. So we'll go ahead and have him call them to a meal. Call to a meal, please. Thank you. And let's see. Giselle is super hungry. So. Oh. Poor gal. Did he not call to meal? Okay. Grab a serving, please. Thank you. And uh, Lisette, when she wakes up today, um, it's her Saturday, and she is going to be doing her vampire research. Uh, like like I said, she's, she's very obsessed with vampires. It's, you know, what she thinks about a lot of the time. And um, she does have a little club of some sort of nerds. Giselle is, uh, you know, she's a part of the popular kids. Uh you know, the kids with money, the kids with charisma, uh, but uh, with set, she's more of a uh, hang out and play cards, uh, kind of a, you know, the misfits kind of gang. But um, so she's with the Wolfgang and, and Morgan from um, Windenburg. And then there's Ella, who she... Uh, is very good friends with and does not know yet that Ella is a vampire. So um, I'd say Lisette's going to be pretty close to getting uh, her dreams realized of becoming a vampire. So we'll wake her up and let her get to, get to work. She can take a shower. So what are these two chit-chatting about? Anything? It's so funny because you, you make up these uh, ideas for the characters and then sometimes the Sims, uh, they act in that way. Uh, like Michael uh, praised uh, Giselle for good grades on his own. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. It's like, well, yep, that's, that's what I wanted you to do. She definitely gets a lot of attention from her fam and a lot of praise. So you can wake up soon and have a serving. And uh, let's go ahead and get Lisette fed and ready. Because uh, she is going to maybe be going to the library to do a little research on, on vampires. I think she's exhausted what knowledge she can from the computer. Uh, she actually has a little bit of vampire lore skill. Just, just a little bit. She knows a little bit. Oh no. Um... Uh -huh. Let's have him hire a repair service. And I don't know if their maid is coming because it's Saturday, so I guess he's going to have to mop that up. Sorry, Michael. Oh. Okay, so uh -huh. Giselle would clean up because she's uh, good. Dag, dag. And, uh, you know, Lisette, she does have a little bit of a lesser relationship with everybody in her family. Her... She and her mom are basically best friends. Uh, Lisette and her mom, not quite that, not even friendly, um, you know. And uh, Connie, their mother, she's a she's an art critic, and uh, their dad is a uh, investor. So that's where where they get all their moolah, their simoleons. Okay, you go to the restroom, and then. Uh, We'll see. Today is more of a Lisette focused day because she's she's got some vampire finding out to do. Okay, you're not gonna express admiration. If anything, you'd be teasing her. 
Uh, you can actually go ahead and put that away when you're finished. Alright, Lisette, you are full. Uh, don't worry about that plate. Take a selfie. Oh, look, let's play with uh, Colton for a second. <laughs> Get to know. Tell him a story. She's always got time for a little brother, even if she she has plans to do other things. Change outfit. Let's go ahead and get him dressed. Gorb. Your voice, Nersey. Giselle, get your clothes on. Delso. Tribs. Someone at the door. Hobby front. We'll invite her in. She she is our former nanny. Okay. All right. Let's head out. And Lisette is going to go to the library. Okay, so we're going to head inside and do... Oh. Uh, she's going to go to work. And let's have her do a little research. Search for information. see if she finds anything out. Today her plan is to do some research on the computer and then talk with her friend Ella, who, who, who seems to know a lot about vampires. Oh gosh, look at... Oh, he was doing the thing where he makes the book talk. Wow, lots of kids in the library today. Oh, uh, 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 my game got a little bit frozen there. Sorry about that. Okay. Anything? All right. Looks like the search for information is a bust. And she's getting a little bit bored from it. She knows all she, she can find. She's just looking at the same... Uh, Websites over and over again. So let's let's head oh. out and visit Ella, who lives in Windenburg. With her mother. Okay, so here we are <laughs> at Ella's house. And what are these weird trees? Uh hmm, fishy. Let's go knock on the door. I wonder if 12 p.m. would be a good time for a house full of vampires. Come in. Hello, Ella. Let's make a vampire pun. And uh, let's Sandra. introduce ourselves to her mother. Because uh, Ella's only ever been over to her Bo house so far. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Why are vampires uh, bad at self-improvement? Because they can't reflect on their mistakes. <laughs> oh, okay. Zorpelhish. Right. So we're going to uh, have a deep conversation. Jabin Slawfish. A Flizza. Jabin. A Boucharb. Let's uh. <laughs> Ask about vampire history from her mother. Oh my gosh, that is weird. So, <laughs> Lisette's done just a little bit of work on her chief of mischief aspiration, and one of her, she has to be disliked by two Sims. One of them is Nancy Landgrab, and now Nancy Grant, Nancy Landgrab appears to be asking her out on a date, or no, not on a date, just to lunch. She says, let's see if things get spicy. Okay, first of all, Nancy, you're married. Second of all, Nancy, you're an adult and I'm a teen. Third of all, ew. So that's going to be a big fat no. Sorry, bye. 
Anyway, oh, let's find one. out what she knows about vampires. Smile. I keep Your copies of the Encyclopedia of Vampiri Vampirica in mint condition. You will have to go online to order your own. Well, that's not helpful. Let's ask her about her career. Benasa? Mm-hmm. Being equipped. about vampires. She's so into vampires. Zanks. Gaffa. Debate Yoga. existence of vampires. Lamina Galpa with tea. Wow. Oh, wow. Thank goodness Have she did that in her room. Where are you Should going? Nerkska, Sherard, she does have a little bit of a cool little hangout basement where uh, she hangs out with her buddies. Where did she go? Okay, there she went. So I think she's starting to catch on that maybe there's something um, abnormal about this house. So let's um, let's ask her about her day. Let's kind of pry her for, for information. Maybe we can get her... I wish Panda? that they did have like a discovery, Panda. like you discover aliens, Boy, you discover noise. she's a vampire. Oh, so let's ask her about Bring vampire history, see if she tells us anything oh, helpful. <laughs> and Miriam, Mama. um, oh, <laughs> sorry, I've never Dude. looked into it. Try a search in the computer or in the library. So Miriam here actually does uh, know Cecilia. Uh, her aunt, even though Lisette doesn't quite know her just yet. Look how cute. I love Ella. She's adorable. Cutest vampire ever. Okay. Anyway, until Lisette becomes a vampire, that is. Mahaha. <laughs> okay. So, I don't think that Ella has the ability to uh, turn her. Uh, but I think now she, she probably has... Lamina Clark. A good Found idea that Ella is a vampire. So let's just uh, praise it, to let her know we're cool with it, and then ask her to turn. I don't think Ella can. Um, gosh, sorry, I just slammed the door super loud. Sorry about that. Uh, but I don't know if Ella can. I don't think she actually has the power yet. But uh, we'll ask her anyway. See what happens. Hizoya, Jenseba, Isapal. I do not possess the power to turn up. Yeah. Okay. Woof, but you do possess the power to do that. Whoa. Okay, and now we know for sure. So maybe we can ask Miriam uh, who we might go to to do that. Girl Pando? Oh, Bimo. Samzo. Let's praise oh, her vampire lifestyle. Kazoom. <sighs> Quimp. Brighton Day. Bunk Yonk. You want to oh, oh, watch the clumsy sisters. Oh. These ladies are just bat crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, engaging story. Oh, Vajalja. Oh, oh Rinka. Mm. Who's like Jeffinau Nuloy? Yorid Jasapapaniru! And I think uh, maybe. <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, let's complain about her parents. Her parents are so unsupportive of my desire to be a vampire. Oh my gosh, shut up, TV. And we learned that Miriam is a genius. A dunda, volcano mesa. Oh, oh, my parents are so unsupportive yeah. of my desire to be a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Where are you going? <laughs> Man. <laughs> These wily bat ladies. Was that super into the selfies today? This is the day I became a vampire. This is the day I found out vampires existed for sure. Click. Share our insecurities. My parents. Inside joke. Oh, not watch yeah. Roaring Vice. Goomba. Let's have a deep Emba. conversation with, with Miriam. <laughs> 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 
Abula Shaka Teeth. A Flizza. Sigluna. Abushar. Ah. This Miko's Karenzi. Okay. Funchil Bratsa. So at this point, I think she's pumped these girls for all the information that we're going to get. And I think it's time to head to Forgotten Hollow to see if Aunt Cecilia can help us out. Okay, here we are near Aunt Cecilia's house. And Lisette's just working up the courage to uh, go inside or go knock on the door. And uh, she does know of her aunt, but she does not have any kind of a relationship with her just at this time. But as you can see, uh, she is a Grandmaster Vampire, so we're thinking that she will be able to turn us. And also, <sighs> poor Colton, having a bad day. Um, also, she should be able to turn us, and I think it's it's good that we have a family member do it. Huh. Okay, so where might she be? Auntie Cecilia. Oh, there she is. Uh, let's have a a friendly introduction. What? Did I bring Colton here? Go home. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. <laughs> so. Hello. Uh, nice to meet you. Dad, dad. <laughs> Chimere Jabin Slawfish. Hey, Finn. Jabin. Dibble with my ah. Hi. Aunt, I've never met. How was your day today? <laughs> Dizzy Wog. Let's ask her Nilinois about her career. Sawata. Marissa like Kumbar. Um. Where's the Katuni? Sawabi. Panda. Ask about vampire history. <laughs> Samzo. Banasa. Ah. Lou Rafa. Being equipped. <laughs> Romps Maisie. And let's get to know her a little bit. Zardeavalo. Mimlet Shinfla. Baina Wexa. Wait, vampires are really stingy with their vampire books. Gungane Unsa. And Cecilia is a geek. Batanabi Scansis. Domi Vayen. Let's get to know her a little bit more before we go straight for the hey, will you turn me into a vampire? I know we just met. A Flizza. Nulet. A Bouchard. Shushe. Clevite Bane. Share insecurities. We've also learned that Cecilia is creative. Oh, Bubcaro. Absinthe. Who to pie blorid? Enthused about vampires. Ugh. Yibs. Yishla. Uh huh. Rinishu. Shishta. Compliment her outfit. Yibs. Yibs. Shmeza. Uh huh. I know this is this is fast, but would you turn me into a vampire, please? I think maybe Cecilia might just be out to get a little bit of uh, revenge on her sister. She might be down. I'll turn my my niece into a vampire. And uh, let's get let's get it ready. I want to watch this happen. Anja Yitka, Tasp, uh-huh, Aspina, Zanks, <laughs> Gaffa, Fioba, Zilnoi. <laughs> Is she gonna do it? <laughs> yes. Oh, how excited must Lisette be, uh, finally. Uh, 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 wow. <laughs> and it's done. So here we are. <laughs> Step one. That's awesome. Okay. And then, vampire selfie. I'm a vampire now. Oh. Not exactly, not technically, but soon. So, let's mark the occasion. Let's have a deep conversation. Chimere Jabin Slothish. And, uh... uh Liza. Jabin. Uh -huh. Abusharb. Ah. Kinniku Sforspa. Rissalus. Uh -huh. Newbeam Let's give her a hug, and Selena then Clark. we'll head home. Balmib Liza. Thanks for thanks for making my lifelong dream come true. And bye.
Oh. Oh. Okay, so Lisette's home and she's feeling kind of funky. Mikosa? Uh, hey. uh, Giselle is, of course, taking care of Colton. And uh, let's uh, enthuse about vampires, your sister. Maybe. Okay, here we go. Oh, we are. Dad, Dad. <laughs> Look at Colton. He's like, um, she yes, put me she down uh -huh. to talk to you, and I'm against that. Yes. Okay, Michael, put some clothes Rob's on, man. All right. Well, we've accomplished the very first task of our Let's Play today, and I think that we're going to go ahead and end this here. Uh, so as not to go on too long, but um, you guys let me know what you think so far ah, of the Let's Play. Again, we, we just, we've just barely started to scratch the surface of the story that we're going to tell. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode, and I uh, look forward to seeing you again next time. So until the next time, everybody take care, and bye! Thank <laughs> you.